hi everybody and welcome to the latest live stream it's saturday morning i'm actually streaming this from the office so please bear with me um let me know if the audio and video looks okay i think the video should look fine um i do have some concerns possibly about the audio side of things uh, because I'm using this new microphone which I'm not sure is very good so please let me know if the audio is okay or if it's listenable at least um, so that would be great um, I'll say a quick hi to Claire um, thanks for popping in Claire Tommy how are you uh, Daz 40 how are you um, I thought I'd pop into the office it all sounds great brilliant Bronwyn says hi from Australia Mizzy says good morning hi there guys etic 85 how are you guys um, Claire I hope you had a good car boot sale um, Beck and I went out this morning um, she's not with me um, hey there Daz 40 uh, Claire Riley money mental vintage vandal Kenneth Christensen says evenings are here um, Richard Payne says hi as well um, not evening, morning, says Kenneth. Well, I, I was wondering, you said evening. Um, oh, because I norm yeah, normally we stream in the evening. Um, right, I'm glad that the audio is working fine. I'm pretty happy. I'm using this little USB doodah here. Hey, Henry Ellis. Um, so we're going to get on with it. A little haul video. Where I went out um, to the bins yesterday, so I've got a few clothes to share. But also this morning we went to the car boot. Beck and I went to the car boot. Um, Beck likes to come along with me so she can uh, moan and tell me how she's not enjoying it. But then she gets into it and she's okay. And she she just likes to walk around, and get the fresh air, um, even though she doesn't really want to be there. I get the feeling sometimes. I um, hope you guys had really good pickups. It wasn't. It it was a quite a busy car boot because it's been rained off for the past three days odd three days three weeks odd um it's been rained off the car boots just been rained off so this was the first one in about three weeks and um, so quite a few people came out it got filled up pretty quickly um and i'm sure i missed some bits in fact i know for certain i went to a stall where i completely missed out on a boxed game boy advance because i was looking at something else so um i know there was good things there um, but I was still happy with some of the stuff I picked up. And so we will we will do some sharing um, and hopefully that will work out. Let me just pop the chat out so I can see you guys uh, on this side of the screen as well. Um, packed the last belongings before moving tomorrow. So no car boots this weekend. Oh, that's understandable. Hi, Bexify. Hi, Tap Peddler. Shelster Rooney. Um, boy, do you look rough as F. Really? Oh no, I, I, yeah, this is just how I look, Dr. Diddledoo, I, maybe, it, maybe it's the beard, I don't know, is, is the beard too much, I don't know, but yeah, I, I, I look a bit rough, yeah, my hair's a bit messed up as well, it, it's early morning, you know, I'm, I'm trying not to move too much because I've got the mic there as well, anyway, let's get on with some stuff I picked up and hopefully you guys can let me know whether um it was respectable or not, and we can do some searches as well. I'll, bi I'll mix it up um, because, like I said, I did go to the charity shops yesterday and um, I want to kind of share both of those those things with you guys um, and then I'll get off and get on and do some work because I've got some listing to be doing. Um, first item I want to share with you guys, I like picking up action figures and um, you, you can tell when they use good plastics, if they're solid. Um, this isn't really an action figure. This is obviously quite... It's just a, a, a statue almost, um, but it is like made of good quality plastic um, and it was unique. I actually paid two pounds, so I did pay more than I normally would pay for an action figure. And it is quite cool. Um, I, I like picking up unique things and this is a bit unique for the UK at least. Th from, this is, it's not McFarlane, Tommy. This is actually from what i can tell the research i've done this is a griffin la clippers figure and these i believe were giveaways at some games so i don't know um you know like how many of these are, are out there we can do a quick search actually um let me just get you over to ebay and i can just show you guys um so what is it an la fit griffin Ooh, it would help if i was typing in the right box right um griffin um, LA Clippers um, figure and I think it was a giveaway so 
I've got a feeling it was a giveaway type thing. Um, it, so it's not McFarlane. Um, bad, bi uh, bad Biscuit Lex has popped in. Hi there, Lex. Um, Claire says, Hazy, saw you guys this morning. I said hi to Beck, but you were off way ahead. Oh, no worries, Claire. Beck did mention it. Um, sorry, I missed you, but there we go. Blake Griffin. Um, yeah, so if you have a look here, um, these McFarlane ones go for good money. There you go. Oh, here you go. It's the exact same figure. This guy's trying to get 20 bucks for his, so £16.50. Um, and he's using global shipping and he hasn't sold his for 20 bucks, $20. So probably not the best buy, but okay. I paid two pounds. So I'm sure it will come to some kind of profit. I mean, he's using global shipping program, which may put some buyers off because if you actually look, um, if he's going to be selling this to an international, um, NBA fan, this is the downside of, um, using global shipping guys. Um, you can see that it's got a postage cost for us. So he, he which is quite reasonable, $12, it's only 10 pounds. So 10 pounds to ship this from the United States to the UK. But this is the kicker. They also charge you the import charges up front, guaranteed. So there's another $10.66 to be confirmed at the checkout. So you pay the import charges ahead of time. Whereas if you're sending it yourself to the US, um, there's a good chance that you'll post it and it will just go through the postal system without being flagged up as, um, you know, without being stopped and charged the extra $10 for customs. So that's just something to bear in mind. Um, so that was the first thing I wanted to share with you guys. Um, now, next item. Um, there was a lady who looked like she was sniffing a bit and it made me think either she's got allergies or something else and and you know when someone's so keen to point out that what they have is legit and and things like that i'm i'm in two minds i've got a feeling these are legit because they feel good they feel that the, the material feels good um and there's enough detail there um that you wouldn't have in other shoes um, there is a bit of kind of yellowing or staining that I'm going to have to look at, but I bought two pairs of Converse. Now, normally I'm not huge into Converse, but they were five pounds each. So you guys can let me know whether I got ripped off or not, but I think they're really nice. These are Converse. Um, they're a UK seven um, made in China, but the difference is these Converse. So here's one pair. I've paid five pounds for these. You can see they've got like a really nice leather finish and um, they've got the all-star sole. These are a special um, John Varvatos. I don't know if you can see, you can see that or not. So these were a special edition uh, John Varvatos um, pair of Converse. So I bought these and um, he had these ones as well sorry she had these ones as well so again the same thing but like a brown leather really nice leather to them for some reason they've got kind of like um i don't know some kind of yellowing or or staining i'm not sure what that is um again the unique sole so you've got the all-star sole and it's like covered in a plastic the, the 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 sole is actually in really good condition it's not been worn much um so yeah john varvatos converse um, so I'm guessing he's some kind of a designer, uh, but they were like five pounds each. So I did pay, um, for them considering it's a car boot. Um, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking there's some good profit in them. Um, and the reason I'm thinking that is if we transition you across to, um, ba -ba -boom. let me just have a look, uh, John Vavatos, uh, Converse um, UK seven. I don't know. Is that UK seven? Is it? It says UK seven. Yeah. You can see that brand new. They do fetch good money. Um, so they're like seventy five pounds. Um, you can see pre owned. Someone selling some high tops for fifty. Um, so there is that. Um, most of them are new though. So let's go to some sold listings. And we'll see what we can have. Try using shoes with C Prep Protect. That stuff is the best, says Etic. I'll have a look at that. Um, they sell great in the US and Nike Cut Varvatos contract. They are $100 easy new. Okay. And Kirsten is um, 
in the hubby's shop selling art materials. Um, it bored stupid. Um, question, do you use GSP at all? Um, I don't really use it now. Um, I think I'll use it if I'm selling an extremely heavy item that I, I, I don't know, that I want like the, the insurance on, but even then, no, I don't, I just don't use it, no. Um, Chris B says, hi, or we'll watch later as a sale, no worries. Um, Kenneth asks, are Kawasaki sneakers popular in the UK? I have no idea. Probably not, but I don't, I don't I have no idea. DBG has popped in. Hi there, DBG. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, as you can see, um, well, new, 40 quid, 43 new, pre-owned, um, well, at auction, 12.50, auction, 20, um, 21. I'm guessing it's something that I'm just gonna have to price and hold. You can sell them at auction; they don't go for good money, though. Um, I mean, look, those only went for three pound twenty. Um, so I'm guessing it is a case of asking the money. Look at these; here you go, fifty nine, fifty one ninety nine. Mine are leather, so they're not like the cloth ones or something. And those are leather, so they went for good money. Those are leather as well. I can't believe they didn't go for much. Um, but I'm hoping I'll do okay on them. Um, Auctions are so hit and miss. Uh, let's just go to buy it now. Let's just go to buy it now, um, and then we can have a, a better, better idea. Pre-owned, well, he had the bag and everything. Sixty-five pounds limited edition. Um, Fifty pounds pre-owned. Um, so, yeah, I think I'll do okay. You got forty-four quid from Australia, but the laceless burgundy shoes, okay. Um, yeah, I think I'll do okay on those though. I think they're quite nice. So I did pay five pounds each though. So we will see um, what happens with those. So just give you guys one final look. I've got like a nice brown leather one, nice brown leather and black leather as well. So pretty cool, pretty cool. So that was the next items. Um, so moving on to the next thing, uh, let me just pop in the chat as well. Um, they have a 300% sell-through rate in the US, three sold to one listed pre-owned. That's how popular they are, says Tommy. Super. So I will make sure I offer competitive shipping to the States and we'll see what happens. Um, right. Let's just get into the next item. Next item, I like to pick up um, craft machines and things if I can. Um, like craft supplies um, it, it, because we've done well with them. Um, so whenever I see something boxed, um, I will kind of uh, bear it in mind. And there was a lady that was selling a bunch of her craft material stuff. And so I bought it. So I'm hoping we've done well out of it. I've got a feeling we have done. Um, and John says, sorry, Pommy Pickers, Rod says, I've had a pair of Converse listed since time began just can't seem to shift them yeah I, I converse can be a tough sell but i've done okay with converse i tend to look out for, for for different ones i don't tend to buy the plain vanilla converse the last pair of converse i had we sold to germany for about 40 45 pounds and they were made out of like an orange rubber and these are like limited edition john Varvatos converse so you can see they've got actually like a tag in there as well so i'm hoping that because they're um a designer one that they will go for they will go quickly and for five pounds i was pretty happy um all right so this is the next item i bought um again ten pounds so you know five pounds each on the shoes so that's ten pounds there ten pounds here and i bought this zutter version two um bind it all um so it's like a binding machine and it looks to be in good condition. I've not actually opened it or anything yet. I did try to open it, but when I looked inside at the car boot, it was all like nicely taped up. So I'm kind of like, is it, has it even been used? I don't know. We'll find out. Let's have a look. I'm pretty sure it'll have been used. It looks like it may never have been used. It's been taped with the, with the Zutter tape. So I'm kind of like, do I open it now? I'm gonna open it because I need to know because I you can't you know someone may have just retaped I don't know could they retaped it I don't know I think I don't know no I think this is taped I don't know this is, looks like it's new but I, I'm you know what I'm gonna have to open it I can always put new other and then like you know only open to 
There we go. Yeah, that's new. That's like new. Whoops. There you go. That's actually new. That's pretty good. So it's a binding book. It's got everything there. Sorry, a book binder. It's called Bindil. So it binds things. And it was it was there. And we were not the first people at this store by a long way. So I, so I could have left it in the box, guys. This is new. And I just opened the box. Now it's new other. And it's fine. Okay. So... So a version two Zata bind it all. Now this is where it gets good. I got also some um, half inch wire packs. Um, there we go. And another one, brand new. This is all brand new. And I got these spines. So th this is all of this for 10 pounds. That is really good, especially considering it's new. Um, so let me just, okay. Let me just do like a little Google, um, we'll, we'll do some research on it. Hey Karen, how are you? Um, and Lee Allen, the Allen Project says, hi Z, I'm back from the dead. Good to see you, hope you're well. Um, and what else have we got in the chat here? Thing is, we use Converse as DBG. The soles come out of them, and the inner soles get very worn. Trust me, I'm an expert. <laughs> yeah, I can appreciate that. That's why I always make sure I look out for the the the, the wear on it. Um, and we've touched; we've had no issues. We have done okay with Converse. Also, Dr. Martin says Lee Allen. Um, is that is it just a brick inside? I don't know because I hadn't opened it. Um, you'll find a larger stone in it with the suspense. Um, yeah, you had to check as anything could be in there. Correct. It's brand new. Um, so really pleased with that. Um, and Pommy Pickers Rod says, questions are here. Crafting items such as stamping up sell so well over here. Hint, hint. Really, that's good to know. Um, so let me just switch over. Um, could sell individually, but maybe better off quicker selling all together. Yeah, I think I'm going to sell it as a bundle um, because, I mean, I think I've seen a bundle do quite well. Zutter, uh, bind it all V2. And there we go. Someone had got 30 quid for one from 10 just for the machine. Um, I think I could do better than that, to be honest, because look, someone here sold one for 45. 40 for a, u a used one with um you know job lot there um i got a version two look at that they got, they got like 60 quid for theirs and i think i saw someone get really decent money for one like i'll have to find it but i think for 10 pounds i should be able to get 40 50 right i mean how much do these things cost new well they're asking 80 pounds wow is that the same thing and they've sold five at 80 quid. If they've sold five at 80 quid, then I'm not going to give it away. Um, yeah, it looks like it's the... I think it's the same thing. Zutter bind it all version two. Um, binding system. Yeah, it's the same darn thing. So I am not going to be giving this away. Um, so I think I'm going to be going for a nice bundle price give me an idea what you think if if they're saying 80 quid for a new one i'm thinking i might put it out for 80 quid with the with the other accessories um with best offer and see what happens um because people are getting like 70 quid for a new one so i don't see why i should um why i should take less i'll i'll sell it as new only open to check contents um and i'm gonna be like yeah, I'm just going to go for that. I'm going to use ones there, 40 odd quid. One of those spine things, the wire things, seven quid for a box. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Um, anyway, uh, Rusted Raccoon says, good morning. Hi there, Rusted Raccoon. Ali Allen says, I'm good, thanks. Hope you are too. Busy year as we have moved 
Oh, also I lost my job through ill health, but we're back on the reselling now. Well, that's always tough. Health is so important. I'm glad to hear that you're back on it now. Um, and Karen says, craft to spend a fortune. Yes, would go 100 the lot. And Etix says you can price it 100. Um, and Karen knows her craft. Yeah, so, well, thank you. That's my um, buy of the day then. 10 to 100 pounds. Um, really pleased with that. Um, so, oh, actually, there's an... I forgot there's an, yet another one in the box. There's actually like four. I've got, I've got four of these spiny majiggies. Look, here. So I've got two. Yeah. So I've got four of these spiny majiggies, two of these um, comb spines, and a brand new Zutter. So I'm going to put it on for £100, um, as you guys suggest. I think uh, best offer, and we'll go for it. Um, now this... This is going to sting, um, but this is the stall where I was busy looking at this guy's Sony DAB alarm clock and another guy comes up and picks up off the floor a bunch of gaming stuff, included a box, um, a boxed Game Boy Advance. It was missing its battery back, but still a boxed Game Boy Advance. And he had a few other bits, no games, but it was a few other thing, like figures and he paid like a tenner for it. He was, he was really pleased with himself. And I was there with, with this. So I'm going to see how gutted I am um, having bought this because it doesn't look in very good condition. Bringing it home, it's got some like dust under the screen. We may end up cleaning this up and using it because we've got a, 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 a speaker. Uh, the speaker on our radio is a little bit kind of, uh, uh, you know, it gets a bit um, distorted. So I'm going to see what this is worth. I, I'm, I, I'm no, I know already it's not as good as... I should have looked at the rest of the stall. The pro tip, guys, look at the whole stall. Don't just get tunnel vision. It happens to everybody, though, um, so I'm not too mad at myself. Um, but, you know, there we go. XDR C705DAB. Let's see how much we're going to make out of this um, amazing thing. Let me, just show, let me just show you it again. I paid £2. It's got a bit of yellowing where it's been in the sun. Yellowing to the plastic is quite common on alarm clocks. It's not the worst purchase for two pounds. Um, I can get nineteen pounds for it. Yeah, twenty-two pounds for it. Um, so it's not the worst purchase. Um, what? He paid a tenner, and it was a. Let me, let's see how much a Game Boy Advance goes for. Game Boy Advance, um, uh, Game Boy Advance. It wasn't an SP uh, boxed, and his was missing something. Okay, so, oh, okay. Well, now he had, okay. Eh, he's done a bit better than me, I suppose. Yeah, he had like a boxed one like that. I don't know what color it was. Oh, yeah, he's done better than me. 40 quid, look at that. But these are complete, I think. Um, I don't know what his was like, but he paid the tenner, and I'm, yeah, I'm, I, I got, I got that, I got, I got, I got this, so, I got screwed there, kind of screwed, it still makes some money, I'm not too fussed, but yeah, I am gutted, a little bit, um, mm -mm 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 -mm. whack it on, um, a crafting Facebook group, no fee says Rod, good idea, it's something I'm planning on doing in the future, um but like for now especially when i've got this working capital to pay i'm wanting to put as many sales through on the store just so we can pay this working capital and get rid of it um so obviously the more i put on there the, the better um and lee allen says i have just realized how much i've missed watching your videos i've plenty to catch up on oh that's really nice of you to say um lee allen thank you very kind of you to say um Cutty Sark says, when I send an item to auction, the watcher's count falls to zero. I don't know how to prevent that. I don't know if you can. Um, and DBG says, I've hardly anything left to list. I have to work on my bag of clothes that need work. And Bad Biscuit Lex says, I get car boot blindness when I just see too much good stuff. My brain just turns off. It, it, it happens. Um, Righty then. Lex says, he, he may have won on the pickups, but is he winning at life? Probably, he's like really, he's one of those guys that you can't miss. Um, he's always there with one one or two, I think he's got two daughters, but I think today he only had one with him. And he's like really 
tall, like menacing figure. He's not. He's probably a lovely guy, but like he's really tall. He's like a big guy, and like uh, not big as in fat. He's just just big. Like he's physically, he's a unit. Yeah. So he just walks around and he's on it. This guy is on it. Um, kudos to him. Um, he was sharper. My, he's always sharper. He's always there. He gets all the kind of stuff that I'd like to pick up. He's very good at it. So he's probably winning at life as well, Lex. Um, but. You know, I'm quite happy with what I picked up. You know, he, he didn't pick this up. He walked past this. 10 to 100. That's better profit than his Game Boy. So, um, And I'm less likely to get scammed by someone. Um, all that kind of stuff because of the market that we're selling in. Video games and stuff, I really... I, I don't know, man. I'm not in love with them at the moment. I like playing Fortnite. That's it. Um, ba -ba -boom. Put on Facebook groups and send an invoice via PayPal. Still pay off the working capital. Good point, Karen. Good point, Karen. Um, it happened to me, I was looking at an N64 box and the guy next to me reached out for a boxed Amiga CD32. I nearly fainted. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty rough. That is rough. Um, that is so rough. Um, it, yeah, that can happen. Um, Alan Farnold says, hi, Zian, everyone. First time watching. Oh, thanks for popping in, Alan. Appreciate it. Oh. Oh, I've just sold another transmitter. Cool, twenty three ninety nine in the bag. Um, right, moving on. Okay, okay. None of you are going to be happy about this, but I am. So, I'll give you um, I'll give you some tips. Does anyone know what that is? And and don't don't. Actually, I shouldn't have shown this to you because I know what that looks like. All right, um, but it's not what you think it is, okay? It's not what you think it is, but that's the first clue. I shouldn't have shown that. Why did I show it? I mean, it's, looking at it now, it's so obvious. But, oh, it looks so gross. It's not what... I wouldn't be holding it like that if it was... Anyway. Um, air filter. A transmitter covered in... No DBG, no Bexify. Um, Andrew, that's a better guess, but no. It's Nitro. It is Nitro Fuel. Um, Machine NZ, hi there. Watching from New Zealand. It is, you're right. I don't know. How could I say no? Check it out, guys. This is a beauty. This is a beauty. Um, I did pay £30 for it. Ideally, I would have liked to have gotten it for less money, but, 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 if you see something like this at a car boot, guys, there is value in these things. Um, even if you were to find out that it's not all functioning or whatever, you can split this thing down. Um, this, the engine has compression, okay? Um, I pay £30 now, bear in mind. I could sell the pull start from this engine used for 20 The engine goes for about 40 45 um, And then I could sell the front end. I could I, I could take it apart or I could sell the differentials. I could sell the drive shafts. Um, or I could do it all up. It's a four-wheel drive Tamiya. It's beautiful. Beautiful car. Just needs a clean up. That's all it needs. Um, he mentioned, and it was quite good of him to mention, this fuel tank you could probably get about 10 to 15 pounds used, but this fuel tank's got like a little crack in it, but I've got plenty of fuel tanks. I'm gonna see if I can just replace, um, but everything is there. And you can see, if you wanna check if a car, um, is it beauty? It is beautiful, come on, it is beautiful. I mean, just look at the chassis, just just look at it, it's, it's gorgeous. It's a bit oily at the moment, um, but there we go. If you guys want a little tip, if you're checking to see whether the transmission on an RC car is working, First, you have to figure out if it's two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive. Um, if it's a four-wheel drive car, you'll see that it's going to have um, like a transmission case, like a, a diff at the front and at the back. But anyway, when you spin one wheel forward, the other wheel should spin in the opposite direction. So you can see I'm spinning this one forward and that one is spinning in the other direction. Same with the back. If I'm spinning that forward, the other one's spinning in the opposite direction. That instantly tells you that the differentials are okay. Um, so there we go. But yeah, 30 quid. I'm so over the moon. Couldn't say no. Couldn't say no. Um, 
I'm sure I will. The idea is I could part it out and sell it. I might try to clean it and and do it up and try to sell it as um, a, a ready ready one. Um, Etic says, was it a Subaru Impressa? Originally, it would have been a Subaru Impressa. Um, that's correct, Etic. Um, it, I think the model is like a TGS 10. Um, so I'm pretty happy with it because parts wise, they go for good money, really. Um, right. Um, nitro fuel doesn't burn like that. Um, right. Now, moving on. Moving on. Do, do, do. Okay, we're going to get onto some clothes now, guys. Um, some clothing items. These were all picked up yesterday from the uh, bins, the charity shops. So I'm just going to bring them over. So all of these items I'm about to show you are £1.50 each. Um, and we'll go from there. So I picked up a Wigan Athletic windbreaker uh, like jacket. I, I don't know why, but... I thought for one pound fifty, it's XL. There's got to be a Wigan Athletic fan out there. Um, actually, let's find out if there are any Wigan Athletic fans out there. Let's just find out. Um, so, what, what do I type in? It's a Wigan Athletic um, XL Wigan. Oh God, I've got nitro all over my keyboard. Uh, Wigan Athletic. Uh, what's it? What's it called? A full zip. Full zip. I don't know. What's it's got? A windbreaker or something? Track top. Oh, there you go. Track top. Oh, okay. £10. That's not very good. Well, I paid £1.50, so that's not a great buy. Not, and, and, well, there's not many sales. Just a couple. Tenner plus shipping. So that'll do. Now, these are Everton first team. Same thing. So the the brand is obviously Le Coq Sportif. Um, and they've got the, the Chang... Um, the Chang sponsor logo, but they do say like first team on there. So again, windbreaker in size um, XL again. Um, again for one pound fifty. Put a pie eater in your title. <laughs> um, hey Beck, but you're selling it. Um, um, yeah, I think I am. Oh, I'll have to. You know, you don't. You don't have to ask me that right now. Everton full zip. Um, first team, I don't know. Training jacket. Oh, there you go. So this one isn't so bad. Let me just show you. What, that's like a jacket though. Well, this guy got £15 for that one. Um, I mean, it... It might be because it's more vintage, is it? I don't know. Umbro shell mesh line. He got fifteen pounds, um, but that looks like because it's more of a vintage item, so it might have more value. But I don't know. I think I should do okay because it's first team. I don't know. Look, what do you guys think? Rags, lol. Do you think rags? Let let me know. I I thought because it's a a first team training jacket, it's got to be worth something. There's got to be an Everton fan out there. Come on, who who? Is it? There you go. It says first team. Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, <laughs> um, right. Let me just go to the next one. And it's the same thing again for one pound fifty, but this time in white. So it says first team. I might do these both as a bundle. Um, oh no, no, I can't. It's a size medium, so it's gonna have to be different. It's a size medium. If they were both XLs, I might have tried to do these as a bundle. So, what if I type in Everton first team? Everton full zip uh, first team jacket. I don't know. Yeah, it's hard to see anything that's really sold recently, so I'm just gonna put them up at like 15, 20 quid, I suppose. Um, Oh look, there's someone trying to get 40 quid, but I mean, this this part, this person trying to get 40 quid for something similar. Yeah, that's similar. Look, that's got the Chang logo there, Everton, first team. It's, yeah, Lecoq Sportif. I mean, they're asking 40 quid and they're, they're a kit seller, classic kits with over 7,000 feedback. So if they're asking 40 pounds, you know, I don't think that's too bad. 
Um, I don't think that's, that's, you know, they're asking 40, buy it now. Um, condition very good. Uh, I think mine's just like that. So, yeah, I might go for 30, 35 with best offer. Let's see what, what what happens with it. What do you guys reckon? I think that's not bad then from one pound fifty. Um, the football theme continues. This is what I found at the bin. So, this is new with tags. Um, this is a Manchester United. Rod will not like this, but this is official Manu um, merchandise, double uh, XL size, uh, nineteen titles dates T-shirt. Actually, let's just see how much this sells for. I've not seen, I've not checked these. Again, one pound fifty. Um, uh, Man United nineteen titles T-shirt. Let's see how much this sells for. Um, has anyone got any solds? Well, there's no solds there yet, but looking at that, that's like brand new, twelve ninety nine. Um, this is official merch. It's got the tag on it, so I'm guessing fifteen odd pounds. Um, DBG says boo. <laughs> um, sold something similar for twenty pounds with free shipping. Says um, Money Mental Andrew. Thank you. Um, Lee Allen says thirty quid. Uh, yeah, and Rod says the biggest rag in the world. Um, come on, okay. I know you're a Man City fan, okay, but you know, like, they they did have some good players in the past. I mean, you know, in in the past they had some good players. Didn't didn't? Well, am I right in thinking that Andre Kanchelskis left Man U for Everton at some point? Or did he leave Everton for Man U? Which way did Andre Kanchelskis go? I remember him. All right. Also for one pound fifty, something a bit more regular. This is a custom fit Tommy Hill figure polo shirt. Very plain, plain red. It's got like the little logo there. There's a tag. <sighs> yeah, I, I can't see this fetching an insane amount of money. Um, Tommy. Hill figure red uh, custom fit polo shirt shirt. <laughs> um, okay, that is a new. Let's go to used. Okay, is there a used one? Yeah, about tenner. I don't know. Yeah, I should get around a tenner. Someone took an offer there, 16, yeah. Should get maybe around a tenner, 10, 12 quid. But again, for £1.50. Um, Bye, Z. We'll watch the end of it later as my home F1 Grand Prix. Um, no worries. No worries, Etic. Enjoy the F1. Um, Pommy Picker says, Z, check the inside of the emblem. It should say, believe on the back of the patch. On, on the emblem... Um, like, which, what are you talking about? Are you talking about on on the um? It should say "believe" in the back of the patch. The patch is hidden in lining. Yeah, on these it's hidden in lining. I don't know if I can see anything. Yeah, it's just, because it's just lining inside of it, like a mesh lining. Um, and there's no patch on this. It's got like the logo there, but there's no patch on it. So, yeah. Okay. Um, and then finally, again for £1.50. Yeah, no, there's no, there's no believe. Um, I, it, it doesn't say believe because it's just a t-shirt. It's just, it's just got the official merch... Oh, I should say believe, should it? Are you taking the mick out of me, Rod? I bet he is. Let me just turn it inside out. This is like all F4 all over again. No, it doesn't say believe or anything. No. Nope. Yeah, it doesn't say anything. It's just it's just got a print on it saying official merchandise, um, and that is it. That is all there is to it. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's not like a proper shirt. 
it's just like a m merchandise shirt that you'd probably buy from the shop or something. Um, final item, no, it wasn't a jersey. No, it wasn't a jersey. No. Um, final item, Levi 501s, good condition, waist 32, leg 34. Um, obviously, it's a standard seller. Paid £1.50 for it. Um, sh shouldn't take too long to sell because it's got a good... Um, it's got like a good uh, size to it. Um, so used ones, you can see 25 quid there, 30 quid. Well, someone's got like a tenner there, I don't know. But I'll be asking like 20 to 30 pounds, depending on how it goes. They're in good condition. Uh, nowhere to the standard areas. Hems are, are like perfect. So really happy. Thought it was the jersey. No, I'm not taking a mig. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Um, and I believe that's it for the haul, guys. That is it. So I just wanted to just share with you some pickups. And the, I suppose the thing that I've got to bear in mind is even if I don't find a lot of things, just you just need that one pickup. Like that that one craft pickup has made the the trip worth it. You know, ten to a hundred pounds with that uh, binder thing. Um, you know that alone if, if i just picked that up nothing else it would have been a good morning's work so you don't you know when you're when you're out there and i, I think in the past i've talked to myself out of going to car boot sales you know i've said to myself actually i'm i just not going to go or whatever um i've got to remind myself that you only need that one pickup so you might not come away with a lot but you've got to give it a chance um and yeah it's worked out well so i'm pretty pleased with what I managed to collect today. Um, now I'm gonna get on with photographing and listing it all because that's the important part. Um, normally I don't come into the office on a Saturday, um, but I decided, you know what, needs must. I'm gonna get in there and get some work done. So, um, how are we going with the job sourcing, Z? I'm not at the moment, Rod. I think at the moment I'm just gonna leave it now. Um, I'm just gonna concentrate on on getting the general store up to a level um, and getting the business moving because ultimately that's what we want. Um, the job was, I suppose, an easy short-term fix because it answers our, what we need right now in the short term. But in the long term, it's not what we want anyway. So I kind of feel like just graft through. Um, we're going to be feeling a lot better once the working capital's paid off in about three months, four months time. Um, so that's going to help us significantly, and you know, make that's going to really help us, um, you know, be able to invest better in the business. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Appreciate it. Um, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. And I might see you guys again tomorrow if I'm out again. Tomorrow at the car boots, um, pick something up worthwhile. I'll probably pop on and share that as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, and time to end the stream.